Thank you, Zahra. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Morning Baraka with this new segment of Health and Nutrition with myself and Sana. Assalamu alaikum, Sana. Alaikum, Salam. How are you today? Good, thank you. Well, I'm looking forward to another delicious recipe as I've been enjoying and indulging, and I need to obviously hold back a little bit, but you know what? I'm really enjoying myself. So, what have you got for us today? So, today we're going to make uh, kufta and eggs. Excellent. I haven't actually had that sort of combination before. So let's just explain that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well. so again, it's uh, a lot of the dishes that I make, I've learned through kind of my my family traditions. Um, and this is also something we do make in Morocco. Okay. Um, and it's something that you can have with bread or sometimes we have it with chips as well. Oh, okay, um, chips. So, so homemade chips? Homemade or? chips, yeah, exactly. Okay. And sometimes we would put the, the actual food with the chips in in a baguette bread and have a sandwich like that. Okay. So um, there are many ways. Of Is it more like a it. breakfast or a brunch? Maybe brunch. It can be anything. Okay. You can have it for breakfast, brunch, lunch, even dinner. So. Wow. Okay. And I know anytime. like mince meat. Uh, it's really healthy nutritionally to have. You know, if you want to have meat, but to have it in small pieces. Yes. Or like we are here. Exactly. You know, in a mince meat sort of style. Yes. Instead of like processed meat, for example, it's a lot healthier in that sense because a lot of us will have processed meats for breakfast, like the sausages and you know, the poloni salami and whatever it may be. Yeah. So this is actually quite nice. Yes. And another nice. thing about minced beef or lamb, if it's actually 4% less fat, mm -hmm. we don't know that when we go to the butchers, but you know, um, the way in which it's labeled is either premium or extra lean. So yeah. that's something to consider when you're buying your minced meat to make sure that it's the best quality and has less fat. Because a lot of time we might not be using minced meat as a healthy diet, mm -hmm. but it can be if you are, you know, aware of what it entails. Yes. So, um, and even using minced meat, not just with lamb, but chicken can exactly. be a really good way of, yes. um, you know, having a good start for and a good choice. You could substitute that because it Absolutely. will work perfectly fine with this as well. Yeah, and I have tried chicken mince and it's really really well yeah it tastes really good it works the same really so, exactly um, and also you can tell by the color of the meat that also so when you go shopping sometimes you'll find um darker meats and the lighter and the brighter the, the kind of the better quality okay so um, less fat then exactly mm -hmm. you can notice that and obviously you'll be able I to i wasn't see. sure about the color now that you mentioned it okay yeah so, so that makes a difference it does yeah you have to kind of look at all of these little details mm -hmm. um but yes yeah, so i have um about a quarter of a kilo of minced meat here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to marinate marinate it with some um with some onions garlic parsley and tomatoes okay and garlic is also something that our Prophet, peace be upon him, and his family used to uh, use it for medication. Yes. As it has a lot of um, cures, it actually um, cures like 70 types of ailments in our bodies and what are we known for. So again, as much as, you know, um, we don't realize what we use and what are the benefits of it, it's just to give awareness and exactly. insight that these little things do make a difference and to have it part of your everyday meals and part of the ingredients in you know, most of your food can make a huge difference to your health. Yeah. And we wanna live more healthier by still trying to maintain our culture, especially when it comes to food. Yes. And a lot of us think that if we're gonna diet, we can't eat anything that we have, especially from our backgrounds and you know, what we're used to, but we can. Exactly. It's within balance, it's within you know, the amount that we use and also being clever and smart about some of the ingredients that we have. Yeah. So you, again, with this, you don't need to chop it finely. You can, depending on your taste, but I sometimes grate the onion just because. Yeah, uh, for but it some, makes my eyes water a lot more. It, it, <laughs> it, it does, but you know, uh, again, if you want to trick your children, it's a great That's tip. That's true, because actually having onions and you know uh, chunks of that is not necessarily everyone's taste. Yes, and children, a lot of the time, they, uh, we'll pick, yeah. they pick and they kind of choose what to eat based on what they can see. Mm -hmm. So if you can kind of trick them in that way, they're getting the same benefits. And even grown-ups, some grown-ups don't really like it as well. So, you know. Yeah, no, of course, it's an individual yeah, exactly. taste. And again, you know, in this show, we're making really quick and easy, simple meals exactly. because we are in this world where it's fast moving. You know, some of us, even if we're at home, we, we have got so much other responsibilities. Yeah. So to be able to make something last minute or even if you're, a bit, you know, hungry at night that you just feel like you've had a main meal, but yeah. you had it early and you want to rustle something up. But instead of going to the cupboard and having some junk food, you can actually make a healthy you know, solid nutritional meal. Exactly, Which yes. will be more filling, more nutritious, and at the end of the day, you can actually use it for the following day, and it's also very, very quick. Yes, it will stay fresh if you put it in the fridge. It should be fine. So, like you said, you can just leave mm -hmm. it overnight and then warm it up the next day, so it's not a problem. 
Are we going to be using the same sort of like spices as we did before? We will be using very similar spices. So I've just put a two cloves of garlic in there. Mm -hmm. Again, I love garlic. I really do. Yeah. I, most of the foods I make has garlic in it. So it's down to your taste of what you of would course. like. Of course. Yeah. So uh, right now we have the mint, the onions and the garlic. And what I'm going to put in there is first a teaspoon of uh, paprika. Again, it's mild paprika. Yep. So we don't want it too spicy if you're not used to that. A teaspoon of salt. We can use so many different types of, um, you know, ingredients in here as well as the spices. But to keep it as simple, sometimes brings out the natural flavors exactly, of yes. the meat and whatever vegetables you're going to add to it. Yeah, exactly. And also we'll do about half a teaspoon of um, black pepper. pepper. Mm -hmm. Do you ever use white pepper? Because I know a lot of the time you've mentioned black pepper. Have you actually used it? I, I don't. I will get it now and then, but I don't know. I just like the black pepper because I feel I can see it sometimes when in foods. So okay. it'll make the colour of, of certain what foods. What about the taste? Do you think that makes a difference? The taste, uh, to be honest, I don't really find any difference in the taste. Okay, so it doesn't the, really matter with the taste. No, for me. But but again, I think it depends on, on everyone's taste buds. Mm -hmm. So for you, you might find that you prefer the white the okay. white pepper. No, I use back. black pepper as well, but I'm just, you know, considering what the yeah. difference may be. I don't think there is much of a difference apart from kind of the, the colour, the texture is the same okay. and the taste is pretty much pretty similar much as same. well. Okay. Um, so here is uh, some cumin as well. Uh, I use cumin all the time as well. It's it is quite popular. I mean, a lot of these um, cultures that we are now mixing is a lot of Indian and now it's coming to the Middle East with a lot of spice because I'm seeing something really bright yellow there, which is turmeric. Yes. And that is really, really powerful spice. Exactly. It's for so many things and it helps with your health. You know, antioxidants, which will really help sort of, you know, maintain your body's well-being in so many ways that we are not aware. And we can use turmeric powder even in milk when you're ill, add honey to it. It's so soothing. And also, I mean, I know for a fact I've used it on my face with... Um, with yogurt, it's really good for dark circles. It's mm. really healthy to brighten the skin. You know, to actually even having that as part of your meal keeps you looking younger. So there's a lot of benefits in turmeric. There, there is, you know, you're right. Um, and also we're gonna be adding the olive oil in there as well. Mm -hmm. um, so in here I've put about um, a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. Uh, I just love olive oil. I think it just gives it the amazing. food an extra Ingredient. taste. Definitely. And it just gives me a kind of a flashback to Morocco, really. Of so um, it's a lovely uh, oil to use. Um, and also what I do need to add in there, which I just forgot, is the pasty and the coriander. Lovely. Um, now, again, like I've said before. Just depending on your personal yes. taste. So just move that out of the way. So how do you find um, these sort of meals? Do you feel that you're sticking to your own or are you mixing it sometimes with the English foods? Uh, I pretty much mix everything. So I will find new ways to do it as like trial and error. So uh, I would use uh, Moroccan spices and use it on European dishes. Okay, that's interesting. So for yes. example, if you're making lasagna, uh, I would that's use- That's true, it gives a different taste and twist to it. Absolutely. Even the spaghetti bolognese. Yeah, um, just the spice alone makes a huge difference it, to the mincemeat. Exactly, so you can just experiment. I think for me, I, I just experiment at home yeah. with loads of things and I always ask people, you know, if I've tasted something that's been like got a different spice, I will ask them what have you used and just kind right. of incorporate it into your, your own cooking mm -hmm. until you find the balance of, of what you like really. Um, so yes, so if you see we've mixed it all up. And she's quite handy to have the gloves because sometimes, especially with the yellow, it oh, can yes. actually stain in your hand. Exactly. It's not very, very nice afterwards. So that's quite useful, even at home, to be fair. Yeah. And like, like I said, the onions here are quite chunky. Mm -hmm. You can make it smaller. Or grate it, like you said. Yeah, if you feel like it's easier to Do kind of... Do you use egg to hold it together? Because I know egg kind of holds it together as well. Um, I don't I don't with Some. this, but I will uh, crack eggs on top of it afterwards to give oh, it... Oh, okay. So, so yeah, I yeah, that's the, the different eggs. way. Because I know yeah. with the Iraqi kebab, 
we we use the eggs because I make a lot of Iraqi dishes as well, yeah. and you know, and it sort of like holds it together, and then you put tomato paste in there, grated potatoes. Yeah. So you can add whatever you want. Exactly. And you can flatten it. Exactly. Yeah. And just do it that way. So it's up to you really how you want to do it. Um, right. So what I want to do is I'm just going to quickly uh, dice this up because we must, I'm going to put this at the bottom of the. So you're actually going to be layering this. Yes, I will be, yeah. Okay, so you're not actually doing it the normal way that we would see it, this sort of traditional way of making mincemeat. Exactly, yes. It's a bit different, but I find that it is quite tasty this way. Yeah, no, I love the fact that it's layered because it's something totally different and it yeah. gives a different... Um, visually, it gives something different and even the taste having the different flavours come through. Yes. Then having it just all mixed in one. And how would you cook this? So there are different ways of cooking it. So you can do it on the frying pan um, and cook it on the pan and leave it covered for a while until everything has been cooked. Or you can also do it in the oven. So it depends on how you feel like you, you, know, you sure. want to do it. it. It doesn't matter. And you're lucky with minced meat, it doesn't take long, even though it's meat. Exactly. It actually cooks really quickly. Just going to change my gloves. Are we going to be preparing it in this? Yes. So okay. if you can bring that down. Of course, I'll help you. Yeah. Thank you. Do you find this as being one of your favourite meals normally? It's lovely, yes. When you have kind of friends coming over or even family coming over, um, it's really nice to make. It's quick and easy, especially when you don't have time if you're of course. working, studying or whatever you're doing. Yeah. You, we need to be practical with what we can actually do at home. We can't be in the kitchen for yeah, hours. Of course. So it is something... Using natural, healthy ingredients. Ex exactly. Yeah. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the tomatoes over. Okay, so you layer the tomatoes first. Yeah. And because it's wet, you don't actually have to put anything underneath, right? Or do you no. put some oil? No, I won't um, put oil in this one because it's going to... This will be um, oven-baked. Okay. So it's not essential. The, the mincemeat already has olive yes, oil in it. Yes, it does have. Yes. So it's absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to make some room for this. Okay. So now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make meatballs with these. Okay. You can so do it's kind of like a tebsi, bet and John. You know how they make, you know, the layering of... Yes. Okay. But again, you could do it how you want. You can make it like that. Or flat. Or you can do it like this. Okay. Depending on how, how, how oh, you like want a sausage. to. Okay. Yes, exactly. Depending on how you want to do it. So we can do a mixture of both. It's not a problem. Okay. It doesn't matter. And you just lay that on top. Yeah. So you just carry on doing that and layering it. And once you've um, placed all the meatballs on there, yeah. what happens afterwards? So after you do this, um, I'll just put this one there. So after you've done that, um, what I would do is I would get eggs and I would crack the eggs on top. So raw? Yes, raw okay. on top of there. And I would leave it in the oven. Oh, so it bakes kind of like a baked yeah. egg and that. Wow. Exactly. So I would leave that in the oven. If you want, um, just to kind of be sure with the meat, uh, pre-fry uh, them on the like on the Oh, pan. you mean because to make sure that the insides it, are cooked exactly. as well. Yeah, and because and then, yeah. I'm quite thorough with this, I prefer to do that just in case you don't yeah. want to get kind of, uh, of you know, contaminate the meat or anything. So um, I would it probably is suggest that you, for, for a first time, if you've not done it before, uh, fry them first. Yes. Just shallow fry them yeah, slightly yeah. until they're brown and then put them on top and layer okay, I've it. I've never had a dish like this, so it's really interesting. Yeah, and then once you've done it, um, obviously we're not going to do it and all And how many first. eggs would you recommend for some, a dish like this? So I would recommend, so uh, I would do three here and three here and then three Oh, that's three quite there. a bit. So it's yeah. quite healthy and... Heavy. Yeah. yeah, because of the size of it, um, right. I think it'd be nice to have so one nice. egg per, per oh, Okay, meatball. so then each person has exactly the exactly. same amount. Yeah. Okay, if you're doing it like that, And that's then perfect. when you want to serve it, you can cut it, looks, it yeah, into, accordingly. You know, into nice pieces and everyone can have their own uh, kufta with the eggs. And how long do you recommend to put in the oven for um, and keep it in there for? If you've pre-cooked the meat, I wouldn't Less. say long. I would say maybe 20 minutes mm -hmm. on 180 degrees. Right. Um, and if you want, cover it first. So cover it with some foil, foil. Mm -hmm. and leave it in there and then take it off and allow the top to brown. Okay, yes. And then you can take it off. Right. And then once that's done, it's better to serve and eat straight away. And if the meat's not cooked? 
If the meat isn't cooked, then I would suggest you put it back in the oven and leave it for minutes. another yeah, 10 to 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, so altogether 40 minutes. But cover it because we don't want the eggs to burn. Of course, and it also keeps all the moist and the exactly, things inside. Exactly, yeah. Okay. And what you'll find is that you'll get some nice tomato sauce underneath yeah, the, yeah, of the course. kufta. Yeah. And so it will be a saucy kind of kufta yeah. with the egg and it will just oh, complement wow. each other. Okay, I've never tried this meal before ever. Never. So yeah, I'm really, really it's, excited. It's, it's something different. Um, I'm just going to put that away because we've actually made one. Okay. So Okay, perfect for me to try again. Exactly. <laughs> right. So this is one we made earlier. Oh wow! So that's the finished meal. Yeah. That is so different. Unbelievable! I've never ever tried anything like this. So this is a first for me. Yeah. It's. I mean, like I said, this one has uh, the actual meat. I've made it into balls. Into ball. Yeah. Exactly. So it's a bit. It's a bit different. Lovely. Right. So let me get you. So you can try some. Yeah, fork and a knife, yes. Perfect. It's like a pizza. It is, yeah. Nice and organized. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's so nice to have these different ingredients together as a main In meal. And you wouldn't really even think of this together, to be fair. Like, I, I really haven't had this before. Okay, let's try. Now, if you can see underneath Yeah, you can see the, the layers. Tomato, layer oh, underneath. Oh wow, yes so. of course. Okay, here we go. See how you're going to try this. Okay, I'm going to try this. Would you like a knife? Let's have a look. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. I've got it. I've got it. I'm just trying to get as much as I can in there. Delicious. And I can actually taste the tomato. I can taste the mincemeat and the egg just nicely rounds it up. So delicious. Thank you so much, Sana. This was You're so welcome. different. And I hope that everyone that is watching will try this at home. Definitely recommend this. Yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. It's such a quick and easy way of cooking something and putting it together and having a healthy meal mm. in such a short space of time. Inshallah, we'll be back with yourself. And inshallah, we will see you, the viewers, next time on Morning Barakah, Health and Nutrition. Over to you, Ali and Zahra. Assalamu alaikum.